I'm sorry, little one. Please forgive me. I know I'm not supposed to be happy. I miscarried you. But I am torn in between the feeling of having you for a man who doesn't care about me and the sorrow of mother losing her child. <laughs> I don't even know if I should be happy that you went back to your maker or sad that I lost you. Oh Lord, please forgive me. I made a terrible mistake by getting sexually involved with my boss, a man I am not married to. I know I was supposed to learn my lesson from my first mistake, but I foolishly made same mistake twice. I don't know if losing this child was your will, but I thank you for giving me another chance. How would I have explained myself to the world and to my kids? Darling. <laughs> Who is your darling? You are my darling. My sweetie pie, my sugar plum. Stop it, Barry. You know what I want. Give me what I want and you'll get what you want, tit for tat. If I may ask, what do you even need a car for? It's a liability, you know. A good liability. Dropping my son off at school before coming to work has been a real hassle. And Mr. Mike has warned when next I come to work later I will lose my job. A car will help me drop my son off early and also get to work in good time. What if I spoke to him on your behalf? No, thank you. But I can actually help you talk to him. I wouldn't have to worry anymore. You think I don't know your game plan? What game plan? You will make me believe you spoke to him, then I will feel relaxed and eventually get fired. Then you can have me at your mercy as I would always be totally dependent on the crumbs you throw at me. Come on, babe. Where is that thought coming from? Why would you think I would do such to you? Like I don't know who you are. Didn't you lie that I didn't tell you I'll be off work for a while to be with my son at the hospital? That was different. I only did that because I was mad at you. Indeed. I don't care what your reasons were. I can never ever trust you. Will you trust me after I get you the car you want? I don't know. It depends. You should leave now. My son will be awake soon and I don't want him to meet you here. Why? He's a very inquisitive child. I don't want him meeting you here. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow in the office. Take care. Good evening, sister. What are you doing here? Who gave you the permission to come into this house? Look, I am really not in the mood for your troubles. So please, respect yourself and leave. Else, I will call the police and you will go back to the prison you are coming from. Calm down, my sister. Please, uh, I... Who is your sister? Please don't even call me that. I am not your sister. Okay, I am sorry. Please, I came to apologize. These few weeks I spent in this cell has resettled my brain. I have realized my wrong. I was starved and beaten by my fellow inmates. I have learned my lessons. Please, I am sorry for being rude to you and to the other sister. Please, can you call her out so I can apologize to her too? She traveled. Okay, please. Whenever she comes back, help me tell her that I am very sorry. But you know it's not us you should be apologizing to, but your family. That is your wife and only son. Yes, I know. I will just release. So I came home to freshen up before going over to see my family. Okay. I hope you have spoken to a girl landlord. No, why? Someone else has paid for the apartment he occupied. He said to tell you whenever you returned to move out of his house immediately. What? Where does he want me to move to? I don't know. You would have to go ask him if he wants answers to your questions. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Welcome back, dear. I missed you. This house feels so empty with your absence. Thanks, babe. I've missed you too. Wished you came along. Nah, it wouldn't have been proper to tag along when it's time for introduction proper. I'll definitely be the first to tag along. So tell me, how was it? Well, it went well. I thank God. I'm glad I went. There couldn't be a more perfect timing. Really? Just me now. Did you take pictures? Let me see. Hi sis. I was beginning to wonder if you were going to remain outside. No, the cabman didn't have my complete change. Evelyn, meet my younger sister. 
Ronke. I know you. I knew I had seen this face somewhere. You're Mike's personal assistant. Oh my goodness. Now I get it. Sis, is she the one? It's a small world indeed. How could this be? So it's you who got pregnant for my fiance. You told her? Yes, I had to. That bastard was about to marry my only sister in this seat. You shouldn't have. You have ruined everything. I can't believe this. Sis, I will see you later. Tell me what your real plans were, Evelyn. Sir, I do not understand what you are. Why didn't you tell me you were pregnant? Sir, I still don't know what you are talking about. Don't insult me, Evelyn. Are you calling me a fool? Or were you planning to have a child for me without my knowledge or consent? Do you think I don't have a right to know or you were planning to show up in the future with a child to get a part of my wealth? Is this what this is about? God forbid. I have never had eyes on your money and I will never will. So what could have been your reason? How come I found out for the first time about your pregnancy from your friend who happens to be my fiancé's sister at my soon-to-be in-law's house? I couldn't even defend myself. Did you know all along? Were you planning this with your friend just to humiliate and destroy my relationship with you, okay? How would I have known that your fiancé was my best friend's sister? How wouldn't you have known? Isn't she your best friend? Don't you know everything about each other? No, we don't. I and Peju became friends here in Lagos after we started sharing a flat together. I became friends with her because she doesn't meddle in my personal business and I also don't meddle in hers. She doesn't talk much about her family and I don't ask because it is none of my business. But why blame me? How come you don't know your fiancé's only sister? I haven't been in the country. I was meeting her family for the first time. She sent me pictures but I didn't really go to them. And she insisted on not showing my pictures to any of them until I am ready for a proper introduction and marriage. I am sorry, but it isn't my fault that things went south. How aren't you at fault? Why hide the pregnancy news from me? Because I didn't intend to keep it, okay? It doesn't even matter anymore. Fortunately, for the benefit of us all, I lost the pregnancy, so it doesn't matter. You had a miscarriage. Why were you keeping all this to yourself? It wasn't your decision to make. I also had a say. It is my body, so it is my decision to make. You were going to get married and I will leave miserable, carrying your child. I can't and will never go through that road again. So why did your friend decide to use what I am totally unaware of to destroy my beautiful relationship with you, okay? I love her so much. I don't see my future without her in it. Did you two use this to get back at me? Maybe you felt used and you wanted to revenge. This wasn't planned. I had no idea what was going to happen down there. I'm sorry things turned out the way they did. I am going to get the love of my life back. And I am sorry. You and I can no longer work together. I hope you understand. Welcome, sis. I'm not your sis. Please don't call me that. I am sorry. Where is my sister? She isn't back from work yet. Come and sit. She will be back soon. Let me call her and tell her you are waiting. No, thank you. I have a phone. I can as well call her myself. Maybe it's even better she isn't around and I can finally give you a piece of my mind. Sis, please, I... Call me sis one more time and I will forget my home training and give you a dirty slap. What were you thinking? Sleeping with your boss? As if that wasn't enough for you, you decided to get pregnant for him. I know you were angry, and I was wrong to have had an affair with my boss. But I never saw this pregnancy coming. It wasn't my intention. Oh, oh please, spare me that crap. An adult having unprotected sex and refused using contraceptive pills after saying she never intended getting pregnant. So tell me, what were your intentions? Because even a toddler would see clearly through you. I know you are upset. But don't take it out on me. Your fiancé is equally at fault. I know you would lie. He forced you into sleeping with him. You gold digger. You saw an opportunity and jumped at it. 
and you are here pretending to be the victim. My sister should really be wary of you. Who knows? You might go for her fiance next. As you were so shameless to have gotten pregnant for your best friend's younger sister's fiance. How would I have known he was your fiance when even your sister didn't know who he was? Maybe you should ask Google. Even if you didn't know, how characterless could you be to have so cheaply given yourself to a man you don't even know that well? How many months have you been working with him and you're already spreading your legs for him? Even I, his fiance, has never made out with him. Talk more of having sex. So what excuse do you have? You desperate Lagos girls. You would do anything to tie a rich man down. I'm sure you used to do in seducing him because you are not even his type.